Good morning, America! My engine dies here. So Emergency the, landing. Correct. Walk towards the low side. If I want to drop it off, here, up. I'm going to give a nice and slow pull. Nice. Today we're back for a new video for training. I'm traveling right past Bakersfield and like I told you guys, I do one-on-one -on -one classes and to kind of make it convenient and for thanking him for supporting me in my school, I offer him to do like, you know, a couple classes in Bakersfield, which is quite a drive, but you know, again, it's, it's compromised on both sides and I'm happy to do it. He'll be finishing the training in LA. So today we're gonna do a lot of all the basics, the ground school, clipping, uh, introducing the gear. So I'll take you guys along and then, um, Clear trimmers is set, and I remember that next thing is the brakes. Make sure it's a V, the pulleys, right? Right. Brake line. Make sure you got a clean V. You check the brake line to the pulley. This all happens. You clip into your clean V with slacks, right? Your risers are falling straight down. Once you have that done, and you're holding your brakes. Then you're giving me a step back to get some tension. Left riser is on top because you flip them to the left. That also means you're gonna turn left. So if you clip in, turning your riser to 180 to the left. That means your left riser is gonna be on top and that means you're gonna turn left when you're gonna go for your forward. That means the way you clipped in, your left hand controls the right side. Okay. And your right hand controls the left side. It's something that's gonna switch as soon as you face forward. Now let's talk about dynamic of the wing quick so just you understand. So remember, what's the name of that section right here, the whole front? The leading edge. Leading edge. The back? Trailing edge. Trailing edge. Simple, right? What lines are gonna be right here? The on cells? The, yes, what lines? Oh, the A's. Yeah, which one? The, the inner A's on the inner A's and then the outer A's. Outer A's on the. I, think I saw one of your videos. That it, was it salt and steel? Someone you're yeah. like pull pull on the ears. And I saw it. <laughs> the, yeah. This is all the power zone. Yeah. This as long as it's in, within that power zone right here, you're gonna feel like from your risers, right? You're hooked in right here. You're gonna feel like it's pulling you. This you're gonna feel like it's lift. So this is gonna be a pull. It's gonna be lift. This is gonna be a collapse. But now the rule of thumb to know is like this is the power zone right here. So as long as you stay within that, you wanna get out of that zone as fast as possible. Do you have any question about any of that right here? Nope. When you come to the LZ, number one thing you wanna do, regardless of anything, is double check the weather. If you come in the LZ and you see a bunch of birds circling, that means they're thermals. Probably stay down. Look at your LZ when you come in, look at everything. Obstructions, everything. Runway behind you mm -hmm. is useless. So if you have runway, try to use it all. It's better to have too much runway and not use it than not enough and smack yourself against oh, a pole, definitely. against a fence, against something. So check obstruction. Now, one thing you need to keep in mind during your takeoff is what if your engine dies? Wherever you fly, whenever you fly, you wanna have a way out. So, a way to land, it's so emergency the, landing. Correct, that means this can happen at any time. As you're about to take off, before you take off, like, oh, if my engine dies here, I have enough runway to keep landing. But what if you have like water and you need to kind of be proactive? Well, I might have to make a turn or whatever, you know? So yeah, yeah. analyze all those things. Don't take it for granted, you know? Definitely, I'm always thinking about that. Always have an out. And an out, you don't need one only when you're flying over water. You need an out every time. So wind control for the reverse. Remember, you've done your clipped in, you've done your checks, you grabbed your A's, you already center, right? Make sure the wing is level. Once the wing is level, you're ready for inflation. This whole power zone, you wanna get out of it as fast as possible. Number one reason, if there's too much wind, is pulling you. If there's not enough wind, it's not gonna be flying. So regardless of whatever wind condition, you wanna make sure you get out of the zone as fast as possible. You're gonna step back, guiding those A's up, not pulling them towards you. If you pull them towards you, even here, you can get a collapse. You're going too hard on those A's and you're just pulling that leading edge forward. So if you pull them straight towards you, mm -hmm you still might get a collapse and the wing might not inflate at all. So anyway, commit it, guide those A's up when you get that part right here, depending on how fast it comes, you either way start checking that surge and adding brakes right before it gets to that sweet spot right here. Mm -hmm. Or if it's coming nice and slow, as you get closer, a little bit toward that line where it gets sweet and slow enough so you stabilize that wing right here. Because if you don't apply any brakes, it's gonna keep going. The only way for you to stop from keeping going right here is to apply a little bit of brake. And I cannot tell you apply 10 inches or apply 20 inches of brake or apply one inch. It's gonna be based on how fast the wing is coming. If you see no sky at all as you look up, that means you gotta go on your brakes and bring that wing back a little bit. Okay, yeah. 
Yeah. Right? Yeah. If the wings start falling back towards the red zone right here, if that was to happen when you're doing a takeoff, just let it fall down. Don't try to go the extra step to kind of try to save the wing. At any time you start doing your inflation and you see it's coming sideways or crooked, don't fight it. Just pull it back down. Bring it up. It's out of control. Let go of the A's right away. Pull the brakes so the wing comes back down. If anything goes out of control, forget about your A's. Bury the brakes behind your butt and then you're set. If you feel like you need to walk towards the wing, it's because it's pretty strong like it was earlier. If the wing is falling to the right, you're gonna step right and pull right. In reverse. Right? In reverse. When you're facing forward, the wing is falling left. You're gonna step towards the low side and pull the opposite brake. You understand how you're doing half of the job by stepping underneath? As you step underneath, you're just helping that wing come back this way up a little bit. And then you add brake, you do it even more. By combining both, you're not just running under the wing or you're not just pulling a lot of brakes to come back. You're doing both at the same time. So you're right here, right? If the wing is falling this way, you step underneath and pull so it can come back. Right now, if the wing is falling this way and you go the other way, by going the other way, you're you're connected. So you're gonna pull that side down even more. Okay, yeah, yeah. Does that make sense? That works in reverse or forward. Reverse or forward, you always walk towards the low side. In that correction, where you do walk towards the low side, does not cancel the speed. That means if there's not a lot of wind, right, and you want to make a correction, you never stop. If you're going this direction for your takeoff and the wing is falling right now this way, you can't just go. Oh, let me run left. You're just gonna have to go like a diagonal. So you can still keep that speed forward that you have. Because the speed forward that you need is what you need to keep the glider inflated and to eventually take off. So if you just stop running to do that correction, then you're not doing any good. Because you might correct the wing, but it's gonna fall behind you because it's gonna stall because there's not enough air speed. You make a correction, never sharp side move. If you just go right, the wing is just gonna go wham, it's gonna start oscillating. So the, the wing is going left, you go left, and you you pull right to make it back this Correct. Way. And vice versa if it goes the other way. So you always go towards the low side. Reverse or forward. Walk towards the low side. If it's in forward, you walk towards the low side and you pull the opposite brake. If it's in reverse, you walk towards the low side and you pull the same side brake. The common point about those two is walk towards the low side. You need to memorize that by heart because you go from reverse with one control to forward and you switch that as That's, soon as you yeah. face forward. So it's not gonna be like a big deal because you're really gonna get a hold of it real quick, but I'm just saying something to kind of be aware of. Let's just say we did our pre-flight check, but now just to put that on your back, right? It's gonna be you to come around this way, start pushing your harness back, right? Your, your bottom seat right here without stepping on your buckles. Mm -hmm. Grab your shoulder strap, start opening them a little bit and start sliding your hands. So you're really gonna drop down Right, as you push that seat board up right here, you, as you drop down, you see my arms are always already going in. So I'm gonna be sitting on my foot pretty much with the seat board in between. Then I go, it's nice and comfortable right here. So you can either way tilt a little bit forward so you can drop your knee down or not. I mean, from here, I know I can just bring it out this way and it's all set. I'm here, I'm done with flying where I ever unclip myself. So all I do, once I'm all unclipped, I'm gonna let it slide off my shoulders right here. I'm gonna keep my, my arms bent, I let it fall down this way, and I slowly guide it down until it touches the ground. Now, you get used to how big and how low your paramotor hangs, so now when I'm doing it by myself with my paramotor, I know I can let it drop pretty fast, where it just like skim the ground, and then I finally drop it, and it's over here, and then that's it. Nothing to do, and it's all set. Nice. If I wanna drop it off, here, up, and then slowly bring it down until it touches down. I keep holding it, make sure it's stable, it's not going anywhere. Set. Fancy has no prime roll, right? The first thing you want to do, you want to have two slow pull to bring some fuel off. You do one pull right here, mm -hmm. one second pull, and then you find a hard spot right here, right? And that's when you're gonna start your first pull just for the first start, right? Here, right? You hear that little rev? That's what you want. You do it again, right? Now it's fine. Now you can go ahead and press the choke down, the little knob, black knob. Yeah. Okay, All right. now it's down. Now, same thing, grab my throttle, hold it here, nice and squeeze in my hand. <laughs> and again, I take my time, right? I'm gonna give a nice and slow pull. Nice. Starts right away. Now you gotta let it warm up for a little bit right before you go. Now I can have a little bit of power. Kill switch. Oh. That is up.
Nice. So with the right technique, when you're used to it, it starts right away. All right, fine. That's both more right here. <laughs> We're here on day one. I mean, technically day one, right, of kiting. We can call it day one because we did a first day with like some ground school and some basic clip in, clip out. <laughs> Tess is here in the house doing forward launch for the first time. I oh, feel dude. like Daniello is kicking my butt, but it feels it feels rewarding because I was telling him all this hard work is going to pay off to fly in the air. And how many people can say that they, they could just fly up in the air? Yep. You know. We do, we do, we do. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna roll the day with like a lot more uh, forward launches as long as the weather allows us to do it and then uh, see the progression. But so far it's been good. All right, basic forward clipping. Let's say the wing is laid out and everything properly. Your riser is set right here. You already checked your A's. I'm coming to clip in right here. I grab my risers, hold it right here, lift my A's up to see that they're going up and clear all the way to the leading edge. Once they are, left riser, left hand, I hold it right here, grab my hand in right here this way, pinch it on the connection point. From there, I have my A's facing the wing, the rear's facing the front. I'm gonna do a twist and the way it presents itself right there with my trimmers in front, brake, road is clear, everything is set up. I'm just gonna go and clip in the same way as it presents itself and I'll be all set. From here, I'll be checking my carabiner is closed, road is clear, Trimmers are set in the same position. Slide my hand down, grab my brakes, check my clean V. From here, boom, thumbs out. I'm gonna scoop it in with my hand pointing down this way. Go ahead, grab my inner A, which is my first set of A's right here. Hands out and I'll be all set. I'll grab my right riser, check my A's by lifting up, making sure the line kinda just flows down all the way to the leading edge. Grab my right riser with my right hand. A's are facing me, rears and brakes are facing forward. I'm holding right here, left hand comes in, the opposite of the other one. Bam, clip right here, turn it in. The way it presents itself, my trimmers are facing forward. I'm gonna clip in the way it comes. Once I'm clipped in, same thing. Check my carabiner is closed, road is clear, trimmers is set at the same position as this side. Wave my hand down right here, so I'll be going down this way. Woof, clip in, it's all clean V to the pulley. Thumbs out, point in, scoop in, grab my A's, I'm out. All right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Forward kiting. So yeah, what do you think about forward kiting? I feel pretty confident with forward kiting. I don't know. I just for me, it, it, it is. It's more tiring on the body because you're running. <laughs> yeah, you're like on but it. But I really like the forward uh, forward kiting. Yeah. Now we have the inflation looking really good. We have the corrections that start kind of making sense. Uh, killing the wing makes sense too. It's it's definitely there. Uh, it's just a matter of just fine tuning a little things. And uh, if we had had more wind, it would have been a little bit easier. But with what we had. We pretty much killed it.
right guys, so right now we are in South and Sea. I will have students first flight. That is gonna be happening today, so it was a long drive. We're going to the LZ right now, set up, get the hang this done, a little bit of simulation, kiting, taxi, first flight, and go home. So we're gonna knock this out nice and safe. That is the goal. Car is completely packed. So anyway, uh, let's get it. All right guys, we're going to uh, <laughs> our location. I'm just riding. All right, go left. We're going to do a hang test. the engine kill the engine control okay get off your seat slide off keep your hands up okay give me a little bit of a left turn a little bit of a left turn and hold that nice and easy all right step good holding that little bit of left there we go from now on don't look at me look at the horizon keep looking at the horizon keep your hands up I want to see no brick input at all keep your hands up until I tell you to start pulling down. All right, nice and steady. You're gonna get it. So just look at the horizon right now. Don't look at me. Do not look at me. Keep going. Hands up. Keep your 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 hands up. Pressure. Pressure. Oh, run it. Run it. Run it. Run it. Run it. Turn around. Kill. Turn around. Kill. Keep your hands up. 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 Pressure, pressure. Oh, run it, run it, run it, run it, run it. Turn around, kill. Let's go, Teresa. <laughs> oh man. Come here, I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna fucking cry. You got it, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> All that hard work, man. Oh, oh man, right, man. <laughs> Thank you. Who <laughs> knows that experience? Oh man. You should look at you before and after. That was oh, amazing. Thank you, brother. You got it, bro. Proud can, of you. I love you, man. Oh, you I said the same thing. <laughs> Whoa. You got it. All right, let's uh, let's get him unclipped. <laughs> Leave the wing right here. We'll get you set up. Oh man, dude, that was fucking hell, man. That feeling. Good, huh? Cool. That wasn't that bad once you're in the air. Yeah. Tell you it's not that bad. Oh right. man. Put, this on mag Put your brake on the magnet again. Oh fuck. <laughs> I'm glad I, I'm glad I did it man. You how, did it, how, how did I do up there? It was good. That was yeah. great. You were listening, you were paying attention. Yeah yeah. See it's not that hard. You it's, see the flare what I told you? Yeah like, yeah, you're you right. Wait. Hey, right when I leaned back, like you said I took off. I'm and, you. and like I said, what makes it weird is that you don't it doesn't feel normal to do that. I'm telling you. I feel like I'm gonna fall on my back. <laughs> we did it. Uh, you can do it. I was all crying. <laughs> Oh my god, I know! Oh god. And I landed on my feet! You're so scared when you came down. Oh, you did so good! How was it? It was awesome. I can tell you're shaking your legs up there. You're oh, amazing. No. Congratulations. Hey, thank you for everything, Jerry. 